Guilford County Schools doesn't have all the answers. We won't even know which scenario A, B or C the district is going with until the 28th. But here's what I can tell you. WFMY has been inundated with all your questions. I picked out a few the district can answer at this time. Question, what specific virtual training have teachers received from GCS over the summer? Answer, Guilford County Schools offered webinar classes to all teachers to sharpen their virtual instructing skills. Here's McLeansville Elementary School teacher Tiffany Kaufman's take on that. Fortunately, GCS did come out at the beginning of the summer with a lot of professional development options and they were all web based. And so a lot of those classes have been nice because they've been kind of a self paced course where they opened up on a certain date back in June and they won't close until August. Next question. Is the district going to hire extra custodians for cleaning? Answer, the district is looking to hire at least 52 more custodians because buses and schools will be constantly cleaned throughout the day. The district needs $2 million in funding to make this happen. Third question, what will happen to the ACES program? GCS says after school care services might not be provided as its focus is core instruction right now. But the district is working with faith based organizations and other partners to find a solution. So far, more than 20 churches have expressed interest in helping with after school care and outreach is ongoing. Jess Winters, WFMY News 2.